EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. First carry for Cam Akers. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Akers. To get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. First down throw, Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And some room to maneuver. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A big play that time on the catch and run. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Throwing a Stanford. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Woods. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. That catch good for five. It's third down. Stafford. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. And the Cowboys are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Prescott now. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Ernest Jones. And he will take this down the ten-yard line. So 
CD his very first pass of the afternoon intercepted. I know that's a major surprise for any quarterback because, look, let's face it, no one thinks about throwing interceptions. But think about all the warm-up that we saw, right? Every pass he threw wasn't a single interception because, oh, that's right, there were no defenders out there. A little bit different when there's live guys out there chasing the football. They'll run here with Akers. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Stafford now to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one close quickly and helped force the incompletion. So now the Rams send out the field goal team here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Gay's kick is good. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces them to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the shotgun again to Elliott. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Ernest Jones there for the tackle. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second and 10. to throw his press gun. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Prescott off play action. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Prescott. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Leonard Floyd in there to get him. It's a loss of five. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options. And while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Looking to throw. Prescott. And he knocks the ball away and it falls.
is incomplete. I'm looking at this one by defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven, Stafford. Open man is Higby, the tight end. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the short catch and put the down marker back to one. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second and four. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rally to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Now a run with Akers. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Now it's second and nine. Out of the gun, Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. How many times do we hear the third down may be the most important down in football, and there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives for it, and gets it. What a big-time play, putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Stafford. Open man right side is cup complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. 
Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. 50 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. First down, Akers, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 27, Stafford. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. The Rams on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. Stafford gets this into the hands of the tight end Higby so he fought off the tackle and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there and if you're going to give him that much space he's not going to catch the football he's going to run away from me a little bit and that's exactly what he just did there picking up extra yardage They'll run on first down. Akers. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Jabril Cox there on the tackle. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. taken down but he does have first down yardage beautiful throw right there on third down and it looked like this was going to be six points but a nice touchdown saving tackle at the end of this even still this offense is knocking on the door now with a first and goal at the one Michelle and he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. A one-yard touchdown run for Sony Michelle. And the Rams add on to their lead. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And the lead grows to 10 nothing. touchdown it's gay to kick this one away on the return Tony Pollard from his end zone this one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? Turnover, you just noted it. The punt's the better. Drive. The punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. That'll give them eight that time, and it'll make it a second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Throwing again on second down. Prescott. Open man right side. It's Lamb. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. Prescott on first down. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. To throw once more on second and ten. Prescott. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. A first down carry by Allen. It was the linebacker Leonard Floyd on the stop. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Prescott. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home. And they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. Here's Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. On first and ten, Prescott. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here's second and ten. He goes to Lamb again. This time he's got him. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Prescott. 
Prescott yet again. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. And the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. Fourth down, Prescott. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And he is trying to get to the marker. Going to depend on the spot, but I'm not sure he got there, and he did not. Well, we knew he was close to the line of scrimmage, and they say he stepped over. Well, when you see him in that position, you think he's become a runner. As a DB, you start to react towards the line of scrimmage. They can often throw it over your head. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Here's Stafford. He'll buy some time right. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. Touchdown, L.A. Odell Beckham as the first half is winding down. And the Rams are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And it's no good. Oh, he misses the extra point. And our score stays right where it is. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This is Tony Pollard. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they'll take over with just 16 ticks remaining before intermission. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call. But they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And it's knocked away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw a spare under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. And now this throw incomplete. And that is how this first half will come to an end. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. Now Pollard. And they're going to have terrific field position as they finally get to him, but just shy of the midfield stripe. It's the third quarter, and they're down on the scoreboard. And while no one wants to hit the panic button just yet, points are a necessity on this drive. What a great way to get set up. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting more pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Prescott. 
Escaping the pressure right. And he's taken down inside the 30. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. First down, Prescott. And he fires one incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. On second down, Prescott again. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move, is practice now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter. As he'll go for it on fourth down. And again, it's Prescott. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, here's Stafford. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Normally being a big bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their deep. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. 
That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Being chased out left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Back to it after the pick six. Prescott. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Sean Robinson. Too much to handle that time. Gets the sack. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Got on third and two. Eluding the pressure right. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Inside four minutes to go. Third quarter. Prescott looks to throw on first. Pressure comes and down he goes. So still 14 yards to go. Second down. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, he'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. The thing's just kind of continuing to unravel for him here in the second half. They take the shot downfield, but this defense once again up to the task. Well, this is where you think about the old phrase, desperate times call for desperate measures because they've got nothing on the scoreboard, and they're just trying to get something, anything to go their way. But in this case, they turn the ball over. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll go again here with Akers, and he gets it down to the 32. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Play action, Stafford. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys' 23. 73 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon.
Going right back to Akers. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Akers. And he'll take this one inside the ten down to the eight. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The ball on the eight. Still could get a first down technically. Second and seven. <laughs> to throw is Stafford. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Oftentimes when you're losing the game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Back to throw. Stafford. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. The tank, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll begin it with a field goal try here. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. And Gay knocks this one through. And that'll extend this lead now up to 25. So it's three more points, and that winds this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know, in this late, you can never have enough points. But this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Now Pollard. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. A first down throw for Prescott. Looking deep for Elliott. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off inside the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. On the give, this is Akers. And a productive gain out to the 14 after starting at the 7. It's a gain of 7. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left for being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. The Rams on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of ten thus far. This is third and four. Now it's Stafford. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked up by Micah Parsons. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir. Well done.
The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by David Long. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. The uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. Akers and down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. So first and 10 now from the 30. On the ground, this is Michelle. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth so far. Four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Second down and eight. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. 99 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. On the ground, it's Akers. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Second down, Michelle. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. 
It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Here's Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the left hash, this from 37. Gay's kick is good. And that will extend the lead out to 24. So he remains perfect. Three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now... You know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. To throw again on second down. Press, and the Rams got it. They bring him down. Aaron Donald able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk it. And pressure coming, and they got it once again. Aaron Donald able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And incomplete on the deep ball. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. Throwing here, Stafford. And this will be caught. But the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. So another score there. And often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership of that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. And they're looking strong here in the fourth quarter. And the Cowboys are able to recover. And they that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Now. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. 
He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Give him nine there on the first down completion. From the five now, second and a yard. Prescott from the gun. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. And they'll rally and stop him short of the first down at about the six. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. Shot now for Prescott. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football. And I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You you're, like you're, handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but, yeah, I, but, but I... I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I represent, like, yeah. like the best player of all yeah. that, and I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. 